All right, everybody, we finally made it to pointers. A pointer is just a variable that stores a memory address of another variable. That's it. The reason that we use pointers is because, well, sometimes it's just easier to work with an address. Here's an example. I have a stack of maybe 20 pizzas that I'm going to give out for free to my neighborhood. Instead of going around house to house carrying the free pizza and handing it out, it's a lot easier to go door to door and tell people where the pizza is located. Hey, there's free pizza at my house at this address. Come and get some. And that's one of the uses of pointers. Sometimes it's easier to just work with an address. I'll tell people where the free pizza is, rather than carry it around with me. So when working with pointers, we'll need to use the address of operator, which is an ampersand, as well as the dereference operator, which is an asterisk. Let's begin with the name. I'll create a pointer to a name. Standard string name. Assign your first name. Then we'll create a pointer to name. Where is my name located in my computer's memory? To create a pointer, it should be of the same data type as the variable it's pointing to. I'm creating a pointer to a string. This pointer will be of the string data type. Then type asterisk, that dereference operator. Then a common naming convention for pointers is you type p, then the variable name. But I'm going to make the first letter uppercase. I will set this pointer equal to the address of that name variable. And there we go, we have a pointer. So if I was to display this pointer, standard output, p name, my pointer contains this value. It contains a memory address as its value. To access the value at this address, you would use the dereference operator. I'm accessing the value of that address that's stored within this pointer, which contains my first name. By using this dereference operator, I'm accessing the value that's at this given address, which contains my first name. Let's create a couple other pointers. Let's create a variable age, int age equals make up some age. I'll create a pointer to age. The data type of the pointer should be the same as the variable int dereference operator p age equals the address of age then let's display whatever value is located at the address that's stored within my pointer of p age so we have my first name and then an age i think i'm just going to add a new line real quick Going back to that analogy with the free pizzas, I'll create an array, an array of strings. I'll name this array free pizzas. I'll give this a size of five. We have pizza one, pizza two, pizza three, pizza four, then pizza five. Like I said in my example, it's a lot easier instead of carrying around five free pizzas house to house, giving away pizza, I can just tell people where the pizza is located. I'll give them an address. I'll create a pointer to this array. We'll use the same data type. We're storing strings. Dereference operator, P, free pizzas. Now I'm going to attempt to set this to the address of free pizzas. Now we're going to run into a problem. My array is already an address, so I don't need to use the address of operator. Let me demonstrate. I will display C out free pizzas. When accessing my array free pizzas, it's already a memory address. If I display the value contained within my pointer to my free pizzas, it's going to be a memory address. Then if I was to use the dereference operator, that would give me the first element within that array, pizza1. So those are pointers. It's a variable that stores a memory address of another variable. Sometimes it's easier to work with an address. 
Instead of carrying five free pizzas with me and going house to house giving it away, I'll just tell people where the free pizza is. So those are pointers. Your assignment is to post a pointer in the comment section down below. And well, yeah, that's an introduction to pointers in C++.